All right, welcome back. In our last video, we talked about deck toys and how to sign up, how to create your own classroom, and also how to create folders to stay organized. This is all under the My Dashboard tab. Today, we're going to look at the deck gallery. Let's go there. And you're going to find all the different decks created by all the other deck toy creators. I can search for a deck. I'm going to look for fractions. I'll take off the S to make it a little bit easier and open up what I want to do. Uh, if I want to narrow this down, I can click on math, say it has to be labeled for math. If I want uh, a level like, hey, this is for grades three through five, I can click on that. Uh, English, I can click on the English. So it kind of narrows things down for me. Um, there we go. And let's take a look at um, some decks. You'll notice that it has like the little picture. Um, it's going to say the title of it, who the author is, and a brief little explanation of what's going to be in that deck. Um, if I like a deck, it's like, oh, yeah, this one looks really good. There is a heart feature. I can just click on it for easy to find next time. When I'm looking uh, in the deck gallery, it says my favorites. I can click on it and says, oh, there it is. Got it. Um, but this one looks kind of fun. So I'm going to say, let's take a look. Let's use the post review. So a post review is going to help me give a quick overview of what's in this. I'm going to go to full screen, the little arrows. Here we go. And I can just kind of zoom in on different pieces. Um, I'm going to start here. So I'm going to like double click and let's zoom in. So my mission just says, OK, start here. Um, oh, I have some different pathways already. I can say I can click on different uh, mixed numbers. This one is going to have me writing mixed numbers, it looks like, as improper fractions. The yellow is going to take me to a, a link in Google Drive, probably a video for students to watch, as well as a little question. That little rocket ship means the students are going to have to fill that in. Awesome. So probably what the teacher's doing here is they're saying, all right, start here. If you want to watch the video, check out the video, and then move on to the activity. If you already know it, boom, to go right to the activity. Love it. So right here, the green one, yep, another video. That's what it looks like is happening. The pink is going to lead me to some problems um, to match up. Oh, and there's a little match icon. So I know that that's a matching game for the students. Um, moving on, yep, there is uh, another video to watch. Here's another, yep, it's a matching game. Um, students are going to match up all these problems. Great. So you're going to go through and just kind of browse through this and say, does this look good? Is this grade level appropriate? Is it going to meet the learning needs of my students? Um, one thing I like that this teacher did, they made a little sign here at the bottom saying, oh, almost there. And they give the students a choice. Hey, do you want to go for the challenge question and get extra points? Or do you want to skip ahead and go right to the end? And you can see there's a challenge question and there's an end, more matching. Awesome. So that is it. Again, I could heart that uh, this activity right here. If I wanted to, I can close this all up. There we go. If I want to preview the deck as a student, I can click on the preview button. And this will make it look like a demo student, or I can use the demo mode up there as well. And you notice I can't move ahead in deck toys, say, oop, pathway incomplete. Um, I can kind of bypass that as a teacher. You saw that button there as well. But I'm going to close that up so I can preview. Say, yeah, I like it. Boom, I've hearted it. So I can find it again next time easily. Um, I'm going to use this pull down arrow, show you a few more features. Again, I show you there was a preview demo mode. There is a sign to classroom. So I can assign this to a classroom I made in my previous tutorial. Um, here it is, uh, math. I can just check that little box and add it there. I can also go over and share with other teachers. I can say here is the Deck Toys direct link. I want to open that link up. I can share that with them in an email or something. Um, the one thing to be careful of, this is in preview mode. And if you send this out in preview mode to students, that it will not collect their data. So be careful of that. That's why we always want to make sure we assign it to a Deck Toys classroom so that we can keep track of that data. A couple other options in here. Um, I can view more decks by this author saying, wow, that was really good. What else does this teacher, um, what else did they create? I want to see more. You can also make a copy of this deck and say, oh, I like it, but I want to add maybe one or two things or that question, get rid of it um, or tweak a few things. You can make a copy of it and that will add it into your dashboard as a private deck. You can go through and edit. 
please make sure you give credit for the original owner. That would be really nice to do. If I go back to my dashboard, you will notice that under my math, there it is, my math uh, classroom, that that deck is right there for students to use. All right, that is our tutorial for the deck gallery. Next up, we're going to teach you how to create your own deck using the plus button right here to create your own deck or lesson. Thanks for watching.